in the previous videos we looked at some basic Samba configuration and security settings. In this video we'll look at a little bit more in depth on the security settings, um, particularly as it relates to users. As in the competition they may specify that only certain users have access to a particular uh, share. So if we look in a config, right now we have guest OK equals yes, which basically means anybody will be able to access that share. So we go to our Windows box and take a look at the share. Uh, we see we can get to it. So let's flip back over. Let's close that out. Flip back over to our Ubuntu system. And let's go ahead and change that to no. And let's just go ahead and reload the settings. Um, again, because sometimes it takes uh, you know about a minute for things to actually really take effect, let's go back in here and what we're going to do is specify um, the particular users um, that we we're going to provide access to this share. So you do that through the valid users option and we're going to specify the valid users. So uh, the one that we're currently logged on is Cyber Patriot. And um, so I'm not going to save it yet because um, I don't want this to take effect yet and show you a couple things. So we'll flip back over to Windows. And if you recall, we said guest OK equals no. And so when I actually attempt to access the share, I get prompted for my username and password. So let's come back over here and let's go ahead and save this. Uh, valid user Cyber Patriot. Let's reload the config. Let's come back over to Windows Box. And um, you can see here we are logged into Cyber Patriot. So if we browse back over the Ubuntu box and we attempt to access the share, we still get prompted for a username and password. And you may kind of wonder why. And the reason why is Samba is through the option of the security equals user, it's actually referencing an uh, internal database that it keeps. So we have to define the individual in that database, that user account. So how we do that is with the T PDB edit command, with the dash A for add, and we're going to add the user Cyber Patriot. It's going to ask for the password for that individual. And that's the password that we want to have match on the Windows box. So here we can see we added the user. And there's a whole bunch of options in here that we're not going to get into. But So we have this user in here. We've specified within the Samba config that this user is a valid user. So now let's go back to our Windows box. Let's browse back to that share. Now, since the username password is a match, we now have access to that share. So let's try it as another user on this box. So we're going to switch over to another user on this Windows box. And we will browse to that same share. Again, because we don't we're not a valid user we get prompted for username and password. So to step through that, swap over to our Ubuntu box. Let's create that user. So we're going to do the sudo pdb edit minus a with the username. So here we go. So we have our username of our curly and um, let's go back. Now if we go back to the Windows box and try it, it's going to fail because currently our only valid users are Cyber Patriot. So we go back over here, we're logged into our curly, go our computer, network, here, tap, again, it's failing. 
So let's come back over to our config. Put in a comma. Save. Reload the config. Now something else I want to point out. Let's look at the the last few lines of Etsy pass password, which contains all the usernames. So we have the Cyber Patriot user. We have a username Mark Curly. Um, they exist on this Linux box. So if I attempt to create a new user within Samba, let's name this one L Curly. It fails to add that person, and the reason why is we actually have to have a account on the local system that it matches it up with. So we'll just go to user accounts. Let's add one more user, and let's add, and let's go ahead and create a password. now we have this user added. Now if you notice that was completely random characters on that password. So I have no idea what it is. Um, I didn't mass that pa match that password because it's it's two databases that's keeping this information. And Samba looks at this database and this user and this password. So here's our new user. Now if we want to list all of our users in the database, we do a dash L, um, and this lists all of our users in the Samba database. So, going back over to our Ubuntu system, um, we're, we are, I'm sorry, our Windows system, from our user, our Curly, we can see we now have access, and again, that was because we added that person in here. Now, the L Curly um, would if we attempted to access it, that would fail as well, or would fail at this point because they're not listed as a valid user. So that that goes to show um, a little bit of maybe one of the items that Cyber Patriot competition will have, where you'll have a share and they specify users, you know, Joe, Mary need to have access. Nobody else does. In that case, you would want to make sure that guest OK equals no is set and then that you identify all the valid users in that share uh, definition. Okay, I hope that helps.